Ready? Yeah. You want us to tell you where we're going? Uh-huh. We are going to a place that has got tigers. And tigers! And it's got... Tigers! A black leopard. And it's got white tigers and Siberian tigers. Kind of far away. I saw it before. It had a black leopard on it. Are you so excited to go see it? Yeah. Wait, we're gonna put two socks on the same foot. <laughs> Are you? What, honey? Well, some of them scary. I mean, I don't think so. You, baby, listen, you stand behind a fence, so we're not gonna be close to them. Like, we're gonna be close to them and not close to them. Like, they can't hurt you because we're gonna be on the other side of the fence. Can we not really see them? No, we can't really see them. You can? Uh-huh. Is this a gate? Is this a gate? Yeah, they have gates, but they might feed them a snack or something. Yay! Yeah. And even the big cats? Yeah, even the big cats. Hey. I, think I, I think they have lions and lionesses too, and maybe cougars. Cougars? I love cougars. I know you do. But I know the one that you're going to be the most excited probably. What? I don't know. What's Or are you just excited about all of them? Uh, about all of them? <laughs> I think I know. The Komodo dragon and the black leopard and the black panther. Okay, wait. Listen though, buddy. There's not, um, it's not a zoo. It's a sanctuary for tigers. So it's a place where tigers can go and, um, and they can just live their life and have a happy life. Mm -hmm. So it's mainly, not just tigers. I mean, all. it's a, mainly a rescue place for big cats. So it's going to be lots of different kinds of big cats. And then they just, they, I guess they also have le a lemur and maybe a wolf, something. A wolf, I love wolves. Do you like wolf cubs? I do like wolf cubs. Wolves are your Aunt Tiffy's favorite. Mm -hmm. They're her favorite animal. You're doing a good job, lovey. Would you like a little bit of help? Uh-huh. Okay. I tied a little bit of it. Yeah, I'll get the rest of it. What'd you say, buddy? This is a great surprise. This is a great surprise? Uh-huh. Wow. Thank you for Inter driving us. Miles. Turn around. You're welcome, buddy. 65 East. <laughs> when are we going to get there now? Mm, 22 minutes. 22? Yep. That's not too bad. Well. <laughs> Where are we right now? We're at the tiger. Yeah. Not the tiger sanctuary? The tiger sanctuary. <laughs> You're such a cute guy. Are you ready? Look at that black. Mm -hmm. And they need a rainforest. Okay, okay. And they need a rainforest. Oh. Really good at knowing where they live. Sit back and it's kind of back. Look at a tiger! Look! Oh. Oh, a tiger can fly. Wow. Hi. Oh my goodness. Can't see her rosettes. You think I'm a black jaguar yeah. too? Maybe he wants to play with you. Go back and forth and see if he wants to play with you. So, do you want to take a guess at what kind of cat Midnight is? What do you think she is? A black leopard. A black leopard? Uh huh. That's correct. She is a black leopard. Good guess. Uh, so Midnight here was actually a house cat, if you could believe it or not. Uh, she would run around causing ruckus at 2 a.m., <gasps> knock glasses off the counter, uh, and just jump on the back of sofas. Oh, no. Uh, one of the decisions the caretaker had to make was either to keep her claws or declaw her. Uh, so sadly, she is declawed. Uh, oh, yeah. she said, oh. Uh, if you're not familiar with that procedure, it actually doesn't just take the claw. It takes all the way up to that first oh, knuckle. Honey. Um, this is going to cause her some mobility issues because she's actually going to step back on her heels instead of on her toes. Um, really. Um, but she's also uh, not able to get up high without those claws. Uh, she feels more at home in the treetops because that's where she's going to be hunting things. Uh, so we do counteract those two things. We give her glucosamine to help her with any arthritis or joint issues. Allows uh, her to be pain-free while running around. Um, but we also 
have designed this entire enclosure for her. What does she eat? What does she eat? Uh, so she eats uh, a wide range of meat. So she's going to eat chicken here, uh, but we also give her beef, pork, and turkey, just depending on what we have on hand. Uh, but if you want to listen closely when I give her, her this tree, uh, you will be able to hear her bite through that bone. Uh, it is believed that all white Bengal tigers are in captivity and all of them are from one descendant. Uh, that is because back in 1950 they did capture one very rare wild white Bengal tiger, brought him into captivity and immediately started breeding him. Um, so he, um, one of his favorite things to do is, I did mention the enrichment earlier, you asked about the pumpkins. Uh, Dakar used to get bowling balls. However, he did quickly find out that he can take a bowling ball, put it in his mouth, and crack it in one bite. Okay. Harry, are you ready? I hear you. Alright, come back. Whoa. So this is Cora. He is our one and only orange bengal tiger here at the sanctuary. Uh, like I said earlier, he's a very introverted cat. Uh, but also, he came from that same uh, industry that Harry did. He came from that pay-to-play industry. Um, but instead of taking a very food-aggressive approach, he took a very food-passive approach. So Ty is actually not a tiger oh, or a lion. Boy. He is a tiger. Um, so he's going to be a mix. Um, his father is going to be a tiger. Uh, his mother is going to be a liger. Uh, so he's a very rare breed. Um, he... Uh, is actually one out of six ever recorded to reach adulthood. Uh, so we're very lucky to have him. Um, and so all of his lion features are actually going to be in his face. Uh, those spots are lion cub spots. Um, Judah does a little funny trick when it comes to snacks. He's going to open his mouth all oh wide uh, and he's going to take that uh, very gentle. Oh, you. What are you doing? You say hi, Judah. Lion? Lion? <laughs> We got to experience hearing the lions caroling. Basically, there are two lion prides in at the National Tiger Sanctuary, and each of them will call out to each other just to kind of, they said it's like a roll call. They're just trying to make sure that everyone is safe and everyone is accounted for, and so it was fun to get to listen to them do that. <laughs> And then what, what other did they, what's the other thing they do? Go hunting. They go hunting. In the wild is to protect the pride. That is really all he does. The females are the ones that provide everything. And Niara had her kids on May 16th of 2016. She had four cubs. Mm -hmm. uh, Itana also had her kids on April Fool's Day of 2016. She also had four cubs. So we hit the jackpot with that. <laughs> Um, but we allowed the two cats to raise them however they wanted. Um, Niara here was a little bit more hands off. Her kids are known as the troublemakers for that reason. They don't really respond to authority. Um, Itana's kids on the other hand, uh, she raised them uh, being very present, doing as much as she could for them while they were in her care. So her kids are known as the golden children. They're gonna be catty cornered to us, uh, but do it. Oh, she does it a little bit. She's going to pray over her meal there. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You want to come over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so me and Tony uh, kind of have a love-hate relationship. Um, he is a Siberian, so size does matter. Uh, size is an intimidation factor. Here you go, bud. Um, and so being a tall male, he is kind of intimidated. But I'll, I'm also very skinny. So he may see me as a very weird looking gazelle. Um, so him being only four years old, he still has a lot of that hunter instinct left in him. So he's gonna be stalking me, 
Uh, he's going to be That's huge. 700 pounds. Did you hear what they are? They're ligers. Yeah. yeah. So that means they had a lion, daddy, and a tiger mama. It's interesting, isn't it? Wow, baby, look at their paws. Hi, little kitty. <laughs> little kitty. He's <laughs> got his ear. Oh, it's like... Okay, so interesting. So the ligers need a pride too. So how do they determine if they need a pride? Can we go see Moonlight again? Midnight? Yeah, we can go see Midnight. I'm coming. Lion cup and a tina cup. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Good catch. Sure. Hey. We all got. We did. We all what? We all got. Because of our early start that day, Josiah was sleepy, so he slept for quite a few hours in the car on our way home. Uh, we drove back so that we could go directly to my sister's house to go for my nephew's third birthday party. He and Josiah are sweet little cousin friends, and they love to be with each other, so it was fun to get to celebrate him. Happy birthday, dear Griffin. Happy birthday. If you're wondering where our daughters were, they had rehearsals for a musical. They're typically in a few musicals every year, and we can usually work it out to where we can go somewhere together, but we weren't able to make it happen this time, so Josiah had a great time getting to tell them all about it when he got home. It's what kind of tigers? It's one of the tigers' place. Wasn't it so amazing? Yeah, and he saw the black leopard. Do you want to Huh? Do you want to No, thank you. Okay. We saw the black. Yeah. <gasps> what did it do so with you? Awesome. It was, I was chasing. I was <laughs> running and it was following. <gasps> it was. And I went and then I was still following. That's awesome. Maybe thought I was running because I had that black shirt on. Oh. <laughs> I have a black shirt on. I think maybe it thinks I'm a cub. <laughs> That's so I silly. I think you would think you are one of them. You think so? Because I'm wearing Cause black pants. <laughs> There's a lot of cute animals inside, mm -hmm. but there's even snakes inside. There were at the Big Cat Museum? Yeah, they're inside, and there were the stuffed animals ones, and they were very, very big. One was very big, bigger than you. Bigger than me? Whoa. That's and bigger insane. than Daddy. Bigger than Daddy? Oh, where is Bo? Oh. Josiah, which ones were the biggest? The Ligers. The Ligers. There were two. Do you remember how much they weighed? 700 pounds. 700 pounds. Isn't that crazy? And 700 million degrees. the Tigers were very big. You could see that tiger. He's such a cute guy. Are you ready? Look at that. Just say it again. Lamberts and I was in the bathroom and a lady was like, oh, those are so cute. What are their names? And he goes, Cheeto and Pumpkin Face. <laughs> it's so funny. Kid took a long nap in the car today while we were driving. So how sleepy are you, Josiah? Just sleepy. <laughs> no, just sleepy. So what did Daddy have no, to do? Just sleepy. Daddy's been driving all day. What do we do with Daddy? We put him to sleep. He, he had to go to bed. He had to go to bed. <coughs> so what are you going to do? Do I get to go to bed now? No. Nah. 
Why? Why don't I get to go to bed right now? Because you're being with the gurus right now. <laughs> well, right now I'm with you. I'm not going to bed so I can hang out with you and the girls. <laughs> but when I'm videoing me jumping, so you can see me really jumping. Okay, let's see you really jumping. Whoa! Whoa. That was a big jump. Was it? Yeah. I did really it careful. earlier to show Dad. You did? You wanted to show Dad that you could jump that far? So we, we don't usually jump on our bed. But I I'm trying to get a little bit of energy do, out. I this can kid even jump on this bed. Slept right too here. much today in the car. Whoa. I can even jump like a honey badger. Oh, okay, let's see. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Can you video me jumping like a honey badger? Sure. Video? Then got it. Whoa. Oh my goodness. So what was your favorite thing you did today? Go to the Big Cat Museum. Yeah, go to the Big Cat Place. I love little pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is so cute. I love, love little Cheeto Puff too. Little Cheeto Puff and pumpkin spice. They're both so fluffy. Mm, they're so cute. Okay, let's see if we can read some books or do something to get tried to get sleepy. <laughs>